Hey there, want to learn about databases and how to manage them? Let's talk about MySQL. MySQL is an open source relational database management system, RDBMS, that allows you to add, access, and process data stored in a computer database. Sounds complicated, right? Let's unpack it. To understand how this works, first we need to understand databases. A database is essentially a structured collection of data. It can be a picture gallery, a list of vendors, or a place to hold the big amounts of information in a corporate network. Companies like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Google all deal with enormous amounts of data and use database management systems like MySQL to store and manage all that effectively. Now, there are several types of DBMS like hierarchical, object-oriented and network, but the one we are focusing on here is the relational database management system like MySQL. A relational database is essentially a digital store that collects data and organizes it in tables according to the relational model. In this model, tables consist of rows and columns and the relationships between data elements in those rows and columns all follow a strict logical structure and every piece of uh, data is related to each other. RDBMS, on the other hand, is simply the set of software tools used to implement, manage and query such a database. For example, for this list of customers, you can use the SQL language like this to retrieve the information of all customers customers from Mexico. Pretty useful when you have hundreds of customers. As defined before, MySQL is an open source relational database management system. It is the database product that keeps the data in the database organized. Structured query language or SQL on the other hand is a programming language used to communicate with a database. You would use SQL to access, maintain or update data in your database as SQL is the language to query database. MySQL works with the client-server connection model. Computers that install and run RDBMS software are called clients. Whenever the clients need to access data, they connect to the RDBMS server. And that connection happens through a specific network. Every client can make a request from their graphical user interface, GUI, on their screens and the server will produce the desired output as long as both ends understand the instruction. Without getting too technical here, the main processes taking place in a MySQL environment are the following. Number one, MySQL creates a database for storing and manipulating data, defining the relationship of each table. Then clients can make requests by typing a specific SQL statements to the MySQL and then the server application will respond with the requested information and appear it on the client site. MySQL is extremely popular and there's a reason for that. It's very flexible and has high performance. For one, you can modify the source code to meet your own expectations and there's no need to pay anything for this level of freedom. And the installation process is relatively easy. Also, MySQL is supported by a wide array of cluster servers. So no matter if you're storing massive amounts of big e-commerce data or doing heavy business intelligence activities, MySQL will perform smoothly with optimum speed. Speaking of high speed and optimal performance, if you want your website to run smoothly and give your website visitors and potential customers the best user experience, you should check out Tenweb, an AI-powered WordPress platform. Here you will get an automatic 90 plus PageSpeed score. This will allow your website to pass Google's Core Web Vitals assessment and excel in the search rankings. Visit Tenweb's website to find out more. Now, to operate MySQL, there are lots of different GUIs, graphical user interfaces like MySQL Workbench, Navicat DB Admin Tool, SQL Pro, and DB Visualizer. Some of them are free, some are commercial, some run exclusively on macOS. So you have a lot to choose from depending on your specific needs. But for most web database management operations, including WordPress sites, the most popular choice is phpMyAdmin. phpMyAdmin is a web-based software that allows you to interact with your MySQL databases. It is an easy way to run MySQL commands as well as database operations like browsing and changing data tables or importing, exporting and deleting data. It's especially useful when you want to perform maintenance on data and backup or edit information in the case of WordPress itself not functioning properly. However, keep in mind that phpMyAdmin won't work properly if the database itself is misconfigured or broken. WordPress uses MySQL as its default database management system. MySQL is what allows the database to store information and provide users access to it, or alter and delete it. Whenever any of these need to be done to the data, WordPress will send instructions to MySQL 
MySQL about the database on the specific data in question and what needs to be done to it. WordPress stores textual data like posts, page content and metadata, comments, user data and media metadata in the database. But media files like images, audio and videos are not stored in the database. They are stored in the WordPress content folder, while the data about them, the metadata, is stored in the WordPress database. That's it for MySQL, hope it was useful, and if you want to delve deeper into this topic and everything WordPress, visit TomWeb's blog with the link in the description. Lots of useful info there. And what else do you want to know about website management? Hit me up in the comments. See you later in the next video.